What is going on everybody? How are we all doing? And welcome back to another informed play review on FIFA 17 and today we are going to be taking a look at fourth Yes, fourth in form Isco, the Spaniard, is having an absolutely blinding season at Real Madrid. And if you do enjoy this player review on his fourth in form, be sure to leave a big thumbs up on the video. If we can get us over 35 likes, it'd be amazing. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new around here as well. But we're going to kick things off with the basic information. And for Isco, he's standing at five foot and nine inches tall. He's got high to medium work rates, four star skill moves, and a three star weak foot. Looking at his base card and top five in game stats, he's now an 89 rated centre mid, which is crazy crazy. He comes with 77 pace, 92 dribbling, 18 on shooting, 92 on passing, 76 physical and 53 defending and his top 5 in games a 97 curve, 95 ball control, 95 short passing, 94 long shots and 93 dribbling. He also comes with quite a few traits and specialities. He's got selfish, he's got the finesse shot taker, he's got playmaker, technical dribbler and also the tries to shoot with the outside of foot trait, whatever that one's called. But uh, looking at the team that we used to be now, you can see it's a 4 3 one 2. We've also got the latest inform Benteke in the team. A review on him will probably be out tomorrow, so keep an eye out for that. But focusing on Isco for now, in the five games that we played with this team, he came away with six goals and somehow, I don't know how, but no assists. I swear he, he made so many chances that I just couldn't quite take for one reason or another. But six goals in five games is still a very nice return from you, Cam, in my opinion. Looking at some of the clips of this going action now, he's one of those players, to be honest, that I've not really used his card at all this year. I've not really used his regular card. I've not used any of his informs. So I can't really do too much comparing with his normal. However, I can tell you straight away that this card was absolutely fantastic. He's got two weaknesses, which we're going to discuss now. First one is strength. He's not very strong at all, but that's something that I think you kind of expect with the Nisco card. He does get pushed off the ball very easily. What a free kick that is, by the way, in the background. And also his weak foot, which isn't terrible, but being a three-star I mean, I played him at Cam. I think that's his def definitely his best position in that kind of area of the field, really. You want someone with a four-star or a better so you can pass it either way, shoot another foot when you're uh, on the edge of the box. But three-star isn't terrible, but it's just a bit of a shame that he couldn't be a four, a four or five-star. Now, getting into the positives of this card, which there are many, many positives. Dribbling and ball control mixed with his incredible agility straight away are probably this guy's best attributes in my opinion. He just turns so, so quickly and he's able to just sh I'm not going to say shake off defenders because he does feel weak when he's on the ball, but you can just bamboozle them when you're running at them. They don't know which way you're going to turn. They don't know which way you're going to run. And that can open up a lot of space when you're attacking with them. And that's something that really is fantastic. His positioning is also fun, really, really nice. He's always in the right place at the right time, whether it's to finish a chance, whether it's to link up the play. He always just seems to be in the right place at the right time. And his finishing and passing were also absolutely exceptional. You're going to see lots of goals where he's just tucking away the chance very, very nicely. Not doing anything absolutely incredible, but just doing what needs to be done and that is putting the ball in the back of the net and overall I'm going to give this fourth inform Isco a 9 out of 10. I thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed him really. Outside of the fact that he's not very strong, he hasn't got any major weaknesses. He's fantastic when he gets in on goal. His passing is outstanding and his dribbling is fantastic as well and when you've got the 4 star skill moves as well, like I say if he had the 4 star weak foot he would be pretty much closing in on being a near perfect cam but the lack of strength does hold him back a little bit as well as that weak foot but 9 out of 10 is what we're going to give him. Fantastic Fantastic, fantastic card. Currently going on an Xbox for an 150k, which for an 89 rated in form, I don't think is too bad whatsoever. So I'd highly recommend giving him a go. If you did enjoy this reveal, as like I said, start, leave a big thumbs up on it, and I'll catch you all in the Benteco review tomorrow. Have a great rest of your afternoon. Need you out. Yo, his niche plays with big games and player reviews are getting insane. He entertains while he elevates his video quality resonates on career mode. He got lots of vids uploading off and he's rocking it. He's got the confidence in all his commentaries. Videos range, they often vary. Got need for speed and a road to glory. Just watching Vince and you know the story. The content is underrated. I'm understating, so don't ignore the like.